Hey, what's up, guys? We are back with episode two of Exploration Guide for X7.1. This is 7.1.2. So, once again, like last time, there's six paths, and I'm going to be going over them from path one through six, meaning this is path one. Um, just kidding. This is path one? Where the fuck is path one? No, no, no. This is path one. This is path two. This is path three. Path four. Path five. Path six. So. This quest is definitely harder than the last one. So starting off on path number one, uh, we got Encroaching Stun, Hurt Locker, Power Access 2, and then Specialist 1. Your attacker's special attack 1 deals 50% more damage, but other attacks deal 50% less damage. So if you can, bring a character that has some nice special ones. Power Access 2, the attacker gains 60% combat power rate while below 2 bars of power, but suffers 60% while above. So it is super easy to get to special two or special ones. Her locker, um, just don't use the same special in a row. And it's pretty easy with this node to use different ones. And then every 20 seconds, if you're not throwing a special attack, you get stunned. So basically, you're just going to have to rotate between special ones and special two. Um, it's pretty easy to get it within the 20 seconds because of um, the power access node. So I wouldn't be worried about that. I'd be more worried about the fights. Omega Red, kind of a pain. Um, the, the characters I use for this is Ghost, Wasp, Hood, Quake, and Nick Fury. Um, I kinda, I just Ghost this whole path. This path's pretty ghostable, except for um, Man Thing. But really, you can use any character. These fights aren't really that difficult. It's just, you just gotta play on the node. You just gotta um, just bring the right counters, basically. So Mega Red could be a little bit of a pain. Stealth Suit could be a little bit of a pain if you don't know how to play him, but you're in the next seven, you probably should. This guy, you just need to bring a counter for. I used Quake and then just tried to make sure I have my concussion up when conco encroaching stuns up. Um, but other than that, you can you just gotta bring like a strong character that doesn't rely on crits or debuffs for this the guy. Um, like what's his name? Red Hulk's a really good counter for this guy. Um, Human Torch, obviously. Any science character is pr probably good for this fight. Colossus, Squirrel Girl, Captain America, Infinity War, easy. And you got this Venom boss. There's Chitness Thorns. Um, foresight and cutting wires. Whenever a robotic attacker gain a bleed debuff from Chitness Thorns, um, you gain a shock instead. But most robots are tech, so I don't really know why you'd bring a tech character into this fight in the first place. Chitness Thorns is if they have an armor up buff, the attacker is gained with a bleed every time you hit them. So with Venom, he can gain armor up buffs. He might not. He might. Um, this is and with foresight, you do a lot of damage if you intercept. Now this fight, I just used Ghost and kind of wanted him to get armor up buffs so I could just make them into Furies. Ghost, probably one of the best options. Um, any crazy nullify character is probably a good option um, to make sure he can never gain any buffs. Um, so really, you just need someone who's a bleed immune, if you're not too worried. Strong, nullif strong nullify. Really, any character works as long as they're immune to bleed for this fight. It's really, as long as they're not a robot. Um, so Magneto, Mega Red, Clairvoyant. I mean, just there's so many options for this fight. Morningstar, even. So it's not really... This is probably a slightly difficult path, but the boss isn't really that hard. And once again, you can change out your character with this thing at the end of the path. So you can bring a full team to deal with the path, then switch out someone for the boss if you need, but it's not that hard. Number two, um, we got Overreach and Destructive Feedback. Okay, so Evolutionary Advantage is a note I didn't even read before, so let's see. Overreach is basically a um, useless node. Or it's, while the attacker has two and more fury buffs, the defender slowly accumulates power over time. So maybe just don't gain furies. I don't know. I don't think that node's really that big a deal. It didn't affect me at all. I didn't even notice it was a thing. So evolutionary advantage. While the defender is suffering from a bleed, arm break, or concussion debuff, mutant attackers gain an indefinite fury buff, increasing attack rating by 70%. Um... So I guess for like Archangel, it's nice. Um, I guess this is for Magneto, really. This seems like a Magneto node because this says bleeds and armor breaks. So yeah, I don't know. Um, and then the main node, obviously, is destructive feedback, which is like they have a yellow char shield for 10 seconds. And while active, all damage that is attempted by the attacker, including special three, is stored. Um, so it's all just stored in the shield, and then after the 10 seconds, it takes all the damage it would have dealt onto the defender. Um, but if you get hit, all the damage that you stored in the shield will go back to you and pretty much just one-tap you. So while he has the yellow shield up, just don't take any block hits, don't take any hits, just avoid him. You don't even have to hit him if you want, you could just parry during the 10 seconds if you're scared, but you could just use a ghost. Um, 
But for this path, I just use five star, six star ghost, wasp put an archangel. Um, even archangel wasn't really needed. Um, there's not really any hard fights, I'd say, except for maybe like Miles, maybe Massacre an Invisible Woman if you don't know what you're doing, but, uh, oh, also this guy, he is newly buffed, so his animations are kind of weird, um, so I'm just warning you on that one, because most people don't know how to fight him perfectly yet, since he's so new to the game, we haven't had much experience with the special attacks and his animations, so, yeah, the path itself, um, if you have Ghost user, she's the best, um, Pretty much any character can do this path. Literally any character, as long as you just don't get hit while they have the yellow shield active. For some characters, like, um, actually no, none of these characters have multi-hit specials. So as long as you know how to evade them, you can just go full intercept only and you should be fine. And then the same Venom boss. So, now we go to path three, which is Typhoon, Spite, Power Axis 2. Uh, this path was kind of difficult for me. Um, I got clapped a few times with Ghost on Hit Monkey. Because apparently Hit Monkey has this thing where you can hit through misses, or I can he doesn't miss. I don't know. Spite's just an annoying node to gain power while you have a buff. Um, Typhoon not even like a real node. You don't even have to really pay attention to it. Power access to the attacker gains sixty percent combat power below two bars of power, but sixty percent, uh, but suffers sixty percent minus sixty percent um, while above it. So you get to special twos really easily, but it's really hard to get to a special three basically. This path, the biggest problem I really found is just Spite. Um, so as long as you can get around Spite, it's pretty easy. You just gotta watch out because there's Magneto here. So you can't really use Ghost for this. Um, I used Quake and just did parries only, never Dex, it's not de trigger dexterity. Can't use Ghost for this fight either because she places armor breaks on specials. So you gotta watch out for that. Um, so basically just bring a character that doesn't generate buffs and you should be fine. Just make sure you have a counter to Magneto. Do not bring a metal character in there, or won't you have a fun time? Um, obviously, don't bring an energy character against Torch, but the note itself isn't that bad. Just watch out for Spite. Don't bring buff characters if you can help it. And then this Green Goblin fight. So, um, okay. So, cramping. While the, under the effects of a weakness debuff, 10% of the attacker's power is drained every second. Additionally, they suffer 25% of the defender's attack as damage each time the Lambert hit. So if he does hit you with a special, okay, and he places a weakness on you, just don't hit him. Um, special attacks both cause, uh, cause both champions 50% less power, so you're both going to be spamming specials. While the attacker has more than 33% of their max power, they gain a power gain passive, which reaches the combat power, which raises the combat power rate by 100%. And if you have more than 75% of your power, you're immediately drained down to zero. So just don't go over like two bars of power and you should be fine. This is definitely a cheese fight though, with like Stealth or Stark 2 Spider Man or Ronin. Any character that has stuns on their special ones, like 100% chance. With Power Reserve, you can just spam special ones infinitely. You don't need to do that strat though, because um, I won suicide, so I can't even win that strat. But um, it was pretty easy with just like an Archangel or like a. Uh, pretty much any character really. Um, I really don't know. I mean, Warlock works fine. Literally, like any character works fine, as long as they don't, don't rely on their special threes. Um, to do damage, so yeah, it's just he, he's gonna be throwing a lot of specials, so should be fine. Just to, just dodge him. Path four: special delivery, cosmic avalanche, and mix master. So mix master, if you attack the same basic, uh, if you do the same basic in a row, um, they'll evade. So just don't do that. Like medium, light, medium, or light, medium, light, medium. Just don't do the same attack twice. Cosmic avalanche. Whenever a cosmic attacker is activated, special attack. They gain a 40% fury buff to the duration of that special attack for each unique buff on them. And no, I didn't find that too useful. Um, and then special delivery, every 15 hits, if you don't throw a special, you take a D gen. So, there's a few options. One, you can take off suicides and spam specials willy-nilly. Um, but what I found best, okay, is use Magneto. Because there's one, two three fights three of the six are metal so he can just do all three of those and um special delivery is very nice for magneto because it's you got 15 hits and they degen you but after 15 heavy attacks you're already at a special three so you pretty much never have to worry about this node you never have to worry about mix master because you only hit you're doing a really parry heavy so you're only hitting them when they're stunned so magneto just bosses these three fights you can use like archangel for the other th um, these two fights like Archangel for Black Panther and um, Silver Surfer 
pretty easy indeed, honestly. Um, because with the neurotoxin, you can you can just turn off special delivery, and then um, you can bring like a warlock or a Medusa or anyone with armor break for this um, chick. Um, so yeah, really, just Magneto is very nice. And then Magneto can really do all these fights actually. I think Magneto can do the first five fights pretty much by himself. And then not really have too much fun with Emma Frost because her diamond form. So just bring someone who can do an armor break. And this path is pretty easy. Um, so yeah, really any character can do this path if you take off suicides. But if you want suicides and you don't want to spam a special, let's just bring Magneto. He's over here. Archangel Magneto. Um, who else? Uh, Ghost, really good, obviously. Um, yeah, I would just say bring Magneto. If you have him, <laughs> you're laughing, bro. Magneto is like one of the first characters who is in the five star pool, so pretty much everyone has him as a five star if you've been playing this game for a while. Now, uh, we're gonna skip this path, we'll go over it in a second, but then we go over this path, path six Static Blast, Extinction Protocol, and Special 2. So your Special 2 does 50% more damage, but your other specials do 50% less damage. Extinction Protocol. The, and the inevitable extinction protocol grants the defender up to 200% attack based on how full the attacker's power bar is. Um, each time a defender activates a special attack, their combat power rate increases by 15% for the re remainder of the fight. So it's really not that much of a node you need to be worried about. Just over time, they're going to be getting a little bit more power. But, you know, these fights don't last that long, so you shouldn't be like taking like a 10-minute fight where they get crazy power gain. And then Static Blast. An aura of electricity drains 50% of the attacker's power whenever the defender launches a special attack. Special attacks, power burn, 100% of the attacker's power. Blocking the special attack reduces the power. Blocking the special attack reduces the power damage in half. Um, just don't get hit by it, basically. Just fully evade most of these. Most of these are pretty easy to fully evade. Actually, three of them are easy to fully evade, except for Guardian. His special one's kind of easy, but it takes practice. Magneto, same thing with him. And then Bishop. I hate this guy's special, so. Um, I just use Ghost and kind of just full Ghost energy this thing. I bought Ghost, Wasp, Hood, Quake, Archangel. So Ghost this fight, Ghost this fight, Ghost this fight. Um, Quake this fight, because Ghost with the Magnetism. Bring someone who can counter Magneto, basically, for this fight. Um, you can use anyone for you can use anyone for the first four fights. Uh, I mean, for the first three fights, then you need a Magneto counter, and then you need anyone for this fight. And then Bishop, you really can use anyone, but he's just annoying with his specials. Both of his specials are annoying. So the path itself isn't that hard. The nodes are pretty easy. You just won't be getting to that many specials. Um, so yeah, just don't bring somebody with lies like all their damage on specials. Ghost still works though, because if you can just phase, you can just get your special twos pretty easily. And then we gotta talk about this Rhino boss, because this boss is not fun. You're gonna need a counter for this guy. So basically, he's Matador, so every time he throws a special, you gain a bar of power. That's the only way you gain power. Every time he throws a bar, you get a bar, basically. Bubble Shield, which is kind of annoying. Each blocked attack reduces block efficiency by 6%. After 10 stacks, the next attack is unblockable, so watch out for that. Uh, power Shield, you do no damage unless um, it's from debuffs or special attacks. Basically. Special attacks do 400% damage, but basic attacks do nothing. So you gotta get Matador, you gotta give him power to give yourself power. But then you think it's fine, you know, whatever. You just give him power, he, you know, you get power back with those specials. But no, he has this node called Tantrum. Whenever the defender is struck by a basic attack, so you just hit him, they get a Tantrum charge. When the defender is knocked down, all the charges are removed, and each uh, deals a burst of physical damage, each to 10% of the defender's attack. So basically, you die if you knock him down. Sorry, let me turn this off. You literally just die if you knock him down. But while the defender has a concussion, distorion, innervate, or taunt, um, all tantrum charges are removed without causing damage. The problem is there's not that many characters that have fucking concussion on their special attacks. Like, who's concussion? Like, Quake, I guess. You can spam special ones. Um, but you could just normal Quake it. Um... I don't really like it too much. Disorient. I don't even know what Disorient is like when I think about it. I don't know any character that has it on their specials. Taunt. Um. Once again, I don't know too many characters that taunt on their specials. Innervate. Once again, not too many characters. Innervate. The only one I can think of off the top of my head is Spider Gwen Special Ones. So, like, this fight doesn't have that many counters to it. Um. So, what I did is just rely on debuffs and never knock him down 
The best character for this fight, in my opinion, is Nick Fury. I one-shot the fight with Nick Fury because you can still do debuff damage, but you can't knock him down. So characters like Archangel do not really work too well for this. Um, so, yeah, I would just bring a character who can do debuffs without knocking him down. Nick Fury is the best option. If you have Spider-Gwen, spamming special ones could be fine. I don't know, dude. This fight's really just annoying. And it's a Rhino, so he has unblockable and, unblo and unstoppable and special ones. I mean, not special ones, on his, um, just dash attacks. It's kind of annoying. So, yeah, that fight's just honestly a pain in the ass. So, we're going to talk about this last fight, but I need to bring in an example character to show you guys how to do this fight. If you don't use suicides, um, it, it's probably the best for this path to not use suicides. But I did an item list. So doing this item list is very painful. I'm going to show you um, just really quickly. Just Let me just bring in a cosmic. And this should be fun. Okay, look at this. So, this fifth path, I used Captain America Infinity War item list. If, if you're doing item list or if you're not, Captain America Infinity War is probably still the best option. Or Human Torch or something. But I like Captain Infinity War the best for this because of his perfect block. But it has Vivified. Where is it? Vivified. So you have 200% combative power rate. So And it cannot be affected by power drain, power seal, or power burn. So... They have crazy power gain, and you can't control it with Doom. Fun. Power alternator. Every 15 seconds, if the attacker has more power than the defender, both champions are completely power drained, in the, and then granted amounts of power equal to the amount drained from the opposing champion. Basically, what that means is, if you have less power than her, um, you're fine. If you have more power than her after 15 seconds, she'll take your power, basically. All special attacks are unblockable. So, this is very fun and interactive, but it has this note called Power Suppression. Whenever a science attacker activates a special attack, they have a 100% chance to innervate the defender for 6 seconds, preventing them from gaining power and struct. Whenever this innervate would expire, it consumes one debuff on the defender to reapply itself. So it's a very short innervate, but if you have a character that has a lot of debuffs, it's fine. So the strat is that I did, itemless. I uploaded it on my channel if you want to see it. Take off suicide, because you're going to be spamming special ones. And I'm just going to show you how to play this, because this is a very fun and interactive path. The hardest part, okay, of this path is just getting to your first special because they have crazy power gain and there's some annoying fights on this path so let's just bait this out bait this out bait this out please bait this out oh my god and she looked she took my power because she was taking so long we need to get to a special one under 15 seconds fast i don't have time to be baiting shit out actually so look you get your special one and then you throw it okay and she has an innervate on her now the god meta okay is you just stun lock her okay you got to get her in the corner and then you just do this basically and i want and you basically want to throw your special one like the second you get it because if you hold on to it too long and the power switch node comes like right there it'll give her over a bar power and she won't be stun locked anymore so god meta do what i'm doing okay and basically never um and take off suicides because if you do this without suicides look at this the recoil damage is just killing you um you can do this full quest without taking a single point of damage if you do it right but you okay i don't know what just happened there my character just whiffed that's fun so come on third special and you just want to keep throwing specials in the corner captain american finney was good for this also because on parries he has all these debuffs and um okay i don't know what's going on this did, did not happen to me last time i don't know do what i did except I guess faster I don't know what's going on today I guess I'm just slow but you basically just want to heavy lock them in the corner take off suicides this is the god strat you can do this whole path to Captain America Infinity War by himself without taking a single point of damage the problem with this fight quest is you can do it with ghost and shit but you got crazy power gain Heimdall not fun crazy power gain long shot who doesn't miss on specials so it's annoying with ghost Tigra which is just the most fun and interactive character because her animations are crazy Tiger's really hard to fight against. That's why I like Captain America Infinity War, because you can just stun lock her in the corner. Um, spam heavies in the corner. The showing I did was really bad, but you can basically do this whole path to Captain America Infinity War without taking a single point of damage if you play well. I just played really bad, so just excuse that. But you can basically just heavy chain them in the corner infinitely. Um, and then make sure you throw your special one right and you get it, so it doesn't give her bars of power. Okay, I don't know what just happened. Tiger's really fun and interactive. And then you have this Rhino, fun and interactive boss once again. So this is arguably the hardest um, path in all of Act 7.1. And I kind of agree with it. When I was doing an item list, it was not fun at all. Um, 
So yeah, Cat American Infinity War, take on suicides, give him some synergies, and he's probably the best option. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, make a like, comment, subscribe. That is Quest 2. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.